Hey YouTube, this is Dive Fly Fish. Just want to show you, we have a piece of granite on a carbon electrode. We have a non-shunted Tesla stop bar circuit showing you the discharge phenomenon of a normal 15 kV inductive coil transformer discharge across a carbon electrode. And we shall watch again in comparison to a thunder egg what a piece of normal granite indicates with high voltage discharge from a normal inductive coupling. Here we go, activate system. And again, you can see, despite the fact that I want to sit this electrode on, on the piece of granite, it does not want to couple whatsoever. Not even a chance. Okay, so what we'll do is shut the system off. I'm going to shunt it across the Tesla stop bar circuit, which again is a capacitive inductive discharge phenomenon. And you will note the complete difference between connecting with the granite and the electric discharge phenomenon unto itself. So here we go, activating the system. If you notice, there is definitive interaction between the granite and the capacitive inductive discharge. It's not just strictly inductive, it is inductive capacity. And I do believe that this is the way that planets work together. So you cannot accomplish this with a strict inductive discharge. It is a combination of inductive capacitive discharge that is unequivocal with interaction with matter. There is a difference in the quality of interaction of matter in this resonance in comparison to normal induction. So please note that this is not normal inductive discharge, this is inductive capacitive as Tesla would have noted. And the intensity of the discharge is quite phenomenal, it's white hot, and I assure you if I were to register a thermal variant on this piece of granite, it'd be over three or four hundred degrees minimum at this point in time. Please take note again. Induction versus induction capacitive discharge. It's quite phenomenal, the difference. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.